do 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 all right hello everybody and welcome back to under the radar um i would normally tell you what i'm playing today but i think i'll let this one speak for itself uh while we watch the intro here Ooh, spooky moon what could it be also hardcore you know 90s rock music oh shit it's a guy and he's a wolf maybe and there's a city i actually haven't watched this intro so i'm curious to see what's going on here oh my gosh it's all anime-ish Am I going to get a title drop? No, I guess not. Alright. <laughs> We're just going to get cool people doing cool stuff. Or I guess cool is debatable. I don't know. Very, very 90s designs, I'll say that. It's like, oh, driving in a car. Overlooking the cliff. And yeah. Ah, I guess some of those are technically still tropes today. Man, this is so anime, it hurts. <laughs> well, what can I say? I love anime, so... Mysterious man in the desert or woman? I don't I can't really tell. These old school models are kind of uh I don't know. <laughs> it's like I'm sure at the time it was amazing graphics, but going back on it, it's like mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's so intense. Is that was the kangaroo on a tree? Can they do that? Is that normally a thing kangaroos do? just got rocked by this person. He's all like, nah. Oh shit. And he's a wolf now. Alrighty then. So is everybody hyped? <laughs> Man, they don't make intros like that, like, uh, like they used to, huh? So, anyway, if you couldn't guess by the amazing title of what is displaying right now, we are playing Bloody Roar, an old PlayStation game uh, that was released in uh, 1997 in Japan by Hudson Soft, the same guys who made Bomberman, which is a sort of Tekken clone, if you will, or at least very Tekken-inspired. But the cool thing about this game is, as you can tell, you can transform into animals and just beat the crap out of them. So, yeah, it seemed pretty neat. Uh, and I, even though I was always a pretty big fighting fan, especially during this genre, like, I really started getting into fighting games around the PlayStation era because of Soul Calibur, which I really enjoyed. Uh, probably the first fighting game I really got into. Uh, I never noticed this one. Like, I, I just completely overlooked it. Uh, until the GameCube days when I heard about it and thought it looked cool, but just never got around to playing it. So we are rectifying that mistake, and I'm taking a look at the first entry in this underrated franchise here, Bloody Roar. So, uh, yeah, quick note for those of you watching the stream, I don't know if my internet situation has been resolved yet, so if the, if it is choppy, unfortunately there's not much I can do about it. I will upload a clean version on YouTube later for watching, so hopefully you can bear with any frame rate issue losses while I still try to get my internet adjusted. But uh, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about the at that at this time. So we're just gonna muscle on through and hope for the best. And like I said, if it's bad, I'll just upload the uh, the raw recording that I'm doing later. So now I don't want to spend too much time on that like I did last week. So we'll just keep going and. I'll just apologize again, and we'll, uh, you know, hopefully have that fixed relatively soon. Alright, so the plan is, basically, I'm just going to go through as much of this as I can, you know, trying out the different characters and stuff, and I don't know if there's any secret modes or anything. I don't know, we're just gonna play, see what happens. Uh, so yeah, um, we've got eight characters here, which is not a lot, but for the first entry in a fighting game, you know, not so bad. Especially considering that if you think about it, everyone has a transformation, which is pretty neat. So you've got Yugo, who's a wolf. Gato, who's a lion. Greg, who is a very fashionable monkey with a top hat. Bakaru, Bakuryu, Bakuryu, I guess? Yeah, that probably sounds about right. Who turns into a mole. Then you've got Mitsuko, who's a warthog. 
Alice, who's a bunny. Fox, who is not a fox, I think. He's a kangaroo, which is ironic. I mean, you think he would turn into a fox, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's trying to buck stereotypes. Then you've got Long, who's a tiger, which I guess he follows the stereotypes because <laughs> he's exactly what you think it is. All right, so let's uh, let's hit up Hugo. Wait, shit. I Hold on. I think I hit the wrong button because this is one of those games where you can change their outfit based on their... Uh, what button you pressed? So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen and quit so I can get his default outfit. There we go. All right, all right. Let's try that again. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's see if I can actually beat this game. Now this game's actually fairly straightforward when it comes to fighting games. You've really only got two attack buttons, which is uh, punch and then kick. Oh shit. Well, she demonstrated the kick, I guess. And then when your beast meter is full, you can do that shit. And turn into a, a ridiculous animal monster. So it's like Animorphs, except more anime. Whoop. Ow. And so, like, I played this a little bit to test, you know, to see if it would be a good game on the show. And it seemed pretty fun, so... I don't know. I'm actually pretty excited to see what this holds. Get out of here. I want to save my beast form for the next fight. No, sir. Ah! Oh, no! 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 Ha-ha! Wait, how are you not dead yet? Ah, slide kick for the win. Oh, I guess uh, one thing too is that uh, this game, as you can tell with old, a lot of old school fighters back in the day, didn't really give you much of a story. So I guess I, uh, I looked at the wiki to try to sort of see what's going on here so I can sort of give you guys the narrative. All right, here we go. Rah, I'm a wolf. Rah. So you're actually, your moves are mostly the same in wolf form, or I guess beast form, I should say. Uh, except you have some additional moves that make use of your beast powers, and all your stuff are, hits a little bit stronger. <laughs> okay, that was kind of awesome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so anyway, so the main story of this game is that I guess it takes place in the near future, and like... I don't know exactly what the deal with these people that could turn into animals is, if it's science or magic or whatever. But anyway, there's this group of people that are known as zooanthropes. So like lycanthropes, but zoo instead of lycan. I don't know, I feel like they could have come up with a better name for that, but yeah, whatever. I'm not the, uh, not the zooanthrope organizer or whatever. But anyway, so these zooanthropes have the ability to, as you can tell, turn into animals. And of course, there's an evil company or whatever that wants to exploit them. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, the lag. It can't take it. Ah. No, I'm about to die. Stay away from me. You can also heal while in beast mode, which is interesting. Oh jeez, my computer is not liking this at all. Ow, also I'm dead. Man, what is causing me to lag so much? Hmm, maybe my issues weren't just internet. Hmm. Oh well, like I said, hopefully it's not too bad and we're just gonna soldier on through and if worse comes to worse I'll just upload the YouTube later. So, apologies again. But anyway, so, I'm currently playing as Yugo, which is sort of the, you know, ultra shonen protagonist that has to be in every single one of these games. You know, like Ryu or, or you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So his deal is that he is a young wolf zooanthrope whose father died under mysterious circumstances, and he's seeking to find out more information about what exactly happened there. So his father, uh, Yuji, was a mercenary said to have died in combat in South America. And so now I'm searching for the truth about his death. Ah, shit. Rah! Die! That's a pretty amazing move. But now! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I just love there's something just very over the top about this game that I really appreciate. Oh, it's nice to see that I stay in wolf form though while uh, the rounds switch. Ah, shit. Also, I don't really know how to block, which is probably a bad thing. Oh. Ah, shit. And the funny thing is, I actually never really like. I played a fair bit of Tekken. Well, I say a fair bit, but. I don't know. I guess that depends on your definition of fair. Uh, ah, shit. Alright, let's just go beast and see if I can just sort of... Oh, no. Ah. Uh, I'm focused on the fight now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, get that. 
Ah, the foot kick's amazing. Uh, man, my computer is just struggling though. Is there anything I can do to assist with this? I mean, I guess I could try to like, I don't know, maybe, maybe can tr close out of some task or something real quick. I don't know, I don't really see anything. OBS just seems to be taking a lot, but there's not really much I can do about that. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I need to do... Oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll... Oh, I knocked his hat off! Oh, I'm sorry, poor guy. I liked your hat. Um, uh, shit. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, so... I've, I played a fair bit of Tekken back in the day, but honestly, I never really liked Tekken. Something about it was a little bit too, like, dry for me, I guess. Like, I don't know, it was a little bit, too, like, I wish there was a little bit, I don't really know how to say it, a little bit more color, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just, it, like, Tekken, it felt to me like, out of all the fighting games that came out around that time, it was the most trying to be, like, I don't know, stable and realistic, even though, I mean, you, you can fight a giant kangaroo and stuff in there, too, but... I don't know, just the way it moved, it feels, it felt very like, not necessarily clunky, but it, I don't know, like not very smooth and, and like the kind of actions you could do were very much like very basic punches and kicks, you couldn't really do any crazy moves or anything. So like this is kind of interesting to me because it takes that sort of style of Tekken of oh it's just mostly combat, but then you can do shit like this and that kind of, again that gives me that extra little bit of like. I don't know, ridiculousness that I kind of crave in a fighting game. Yeah, I have power, electricity, and my biceps. Uh-oh, I'm in a factory. And I'm fighting the wise old man, which also has to be in every one of these games. It's funny, like, I don't know, fighting games sort of have their, like, default characters. It's like a, uh, like scary movies, you know? Oh, I just vomited! He punched me so hard I vomited! Shit! Alright. Whoop. Ow. Okay, can I turn this around if I go beast? Whoop. I need to vary up my, like, strikes. Whoop. Wah! Because he's doing a pretty good job at blocking when he needs to. Oh, no, that's it. Shit. I almost turned it around. Problem is I burned up all my beast meter on that fight. But, but yeah, anyway, my favorite uh, my favorite fighting game in this sort of style has always been uh, Soul Calibur. I don't know why, but I really liked it. It's like something about the sort of weapon-based fighter. And it's like just over the top enough again that I get that sort of silliness I crave. Because even though it's like very stylized weapon fighting, you know, there's not really any like magic or anything. At the same time, there's like demons and shit running around. And I guess the swords are kind of magic, so I don't know. And then I like Smash Bros a lot too, of course, but who doesn't like Smash Bros? Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! Yeah, take that. Ah! <laughs> Suplex. I was kind of worried he was going to kill me there. Alright, so now I still have a chance. And I'm starting this off in wolf form, which is hopefully a... A good, uh... Ah, shit. Whoa! Dang, this guy's tricky. He's, like, really giving me trouble. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> All the blood. There's too much blood. Ah, shit. See, the problem is, like, I don't know this game well enough to know, like, any defense, basically. Oh, no! No! No, this is bad. Please don't kill me! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. So, this is probably about the point where I'm gonna start struggling with this game, so. I don't know, but like I said, we're just gonna sort of, uh, we're just sort of gonna play and see how we can do. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, you're right, for long Tekken did have a panda, but didn't one of the old, the later ones have a kangaroo? I want to say there were different animals in the later games, but again, I never really played enough Tekken to, like, 
No, for sure. I think the most I ever played was Tekken Tag. I played a lot of that one in the arcades because it was like one of the only fighting games we had in arcades near me. Ah, oh, shit. Get, no, get out of here. I think I can win this one out using my beast form, though. If I can, that would be a huge advantage for me in the later fights. No, no, please die. Ah, yeah, take that. <laughs> Jerk, get out of here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know enough about te Tekken to really talk about it. Like I said, I just, I don't know, something about the fighting never really, like, I don't know, never really quite gelled with me. There was another fighting game that I didn't like more than Tekken, but as far as popular fighting games, I think that was the main one. Can't remember what the other one was, it was like, I don't know, it was, it was, uh, I can't remember. If I think about it a lot, y'all, no. But you can probably guess what type of fighting games I like based on what it's shit. What I said earlier, in that generally the more realistic the fighting game is, the less I enjoy it. And the more crazy and over the top it is, the more I like it. So there's been a few fighting games that were, uh, you know, trying to be hyper realistic. That was a good combo. Ooh, sidekick. All or nothing. Go, go, go. <laughs> Get out of here, jerk. It's like sometimes I'm awesome and then sometimes I'm not. But at this point, I'm basically just butt mashing. So that's just sort of how it's going to go. All right, Fox, who's not a fox. Uh, interesting outfit there. There's always got to be one like dominatrix S&M character, too, in every fighting game. Like I was saying earlier, it's sort of like the horror movie tropes, you know? How there's always like the jock, the stoner, the uh, the innocent girl, the slutty girl. That's how fighting games are too. There's always like the serious young martial artist, the weird S&M character who likes pain, the, uh, you know, the cute schoolgirl. <laughs> like those are just like, I don't know, I guess Street Fighter sort of defined all those tropes and they basically, uh, are in every uh, every game ever now. Oh god, Primal Rage! Actually, the funny thing is, no, uh, for long that wasn't uh, that wasn't actually the game I was referring to. That said, I remember Primal Rage being pretty bad. So, <laughs> although I remember playing it a lot as a kid, but looking back on it now as an adult, it's uh, Primal Rage is definitely not a good game. Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. This is bad for Nikos. Get out of here. Get out of here. Actually, he may be a fox. Hmm. Maybe I got him mixed up with one of the other guys? Or maybe I'm just bad at reading these character models. Hmm. I don't know. Here he looks pretty foxish. Ah, shit. Get out of here. No! <laughs> ah, shit. He's, I'm like doing all these crazy moves and he's just like smack. Oh, no. This is bad. My only shot! Beast form! Ah, oh, shit. No, no. Oh, that's it. Man, he just schooled me. But no, uh... The other game I didn't like was another sort of Tekken-styled game. It was like... I don't know, I, I want to say it was something lame. It was like... Shoot, what was it? It was like... Hyper Fighting or, or it's something like that. It's, like, it's kind of a bland name. I can't remember. I don't know. It was a more modern fighting game too. It was, it was a 3D fighter like Tekken. All right, let's see if I can get an early lead here. Oh jeez, he's just eating me up. Alright, alright, alright buddy. Okay. Alright, there we go. Just had to play it safe for a little bit. <laughs> I need to actually try to be more defensive. It's funny because usually in these type of fighting games, I usually play best as like the sort of defensive, you know. Ah, shit. Get out of here with that transforming shit. It's funny, but I was kind of thinking about with all the transformations and stuff going on in this game, this is a better adaptation of Animorphs than the GBA game I played a long time ago. Ah, shit. Alright. 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 
Ah, dang it. Whoa, crazy effect on that attack. Wow, wow. I don't know. Let's see. No. Ah, die. <laughs> I'm so tired of you, Fox. Eh. Wow. Get him in the corner and I just murdered him that time. Alright. Alright. Get my groove back a little bit. Or getting it for the first time ever because I never really had it. I don't know. But that went pretty well. Let's see. Oh no! It's me versus me! This is where I face my inner demons and confront my true self. It's the Ken version of me, I guess. <laughs> Dang it, dang it. Some of those attacks hurt, even though they're just like basic strikes. Alright, he's just blocking the shit out of me. No! Alright, well, two can play that game, jerk. I'm used to like Soul Calibur where you can hit people on the ground. This is probably a waste, but it's my only hope of winning this. Ah, dang it, dang it. No! Dang! I almost had a comeback there. Ugh. Dang, the other me is better than the me me. Yeah, I know for long. Uh, were you here when I first started the show, or did you come in a little bit late? Well, either way, long story short, my internet's still having problems, so the live stream may not be uh, all that great tonight uh, because I wasn't able to address a lot of my internet problems like I had hoped I sort of I called the internet service provider and I they tried to do some stuff but they're gonna have to come out later to look at it so ah dang it he got me so long story short my internet's still on the fritz uh, man I have 72.1 percent drop frames Jesus so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm still working on internet problems I know you're probably gonna uh, not have a great stream but if worse comes to worse, uh, I'll upload the 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 good the recording that I'm making later. So even if the stream's bad, just look forward to the actual YouTube video later. I figured, even though my internet problems aren't solved yet, I would it would be better to just go ahead and go upload the fresh YouTube and then hopefully fix the you know the internet problems later. So again, apologies, but there's not really much I can do about it at this point. So we're just gonna soldier on and hope for the best. Of course, then again, you may not have heard that because if the internet's cutting out. Oh well. Slide! Dang it! Not being able to hit people on the ground is tripping me out. I'm usually like, like I'm in the Soul Calibur mode of like, follow up and get some more hits off of them. The problem is that just exposes me to more damage. Alright. Ouch. Ah, dang it. I ran right into his transformation. Oh, gosh. That hurt. Oh, no. That's bad. I think he might get me here. Dang. Also, my computer seems to be lagging, too. So, I'm not sure if it's the game or what. I will say this is the first PlayStation game I've played. Well, no. That's not true. I played... I was going to say it's the first action-based PlayStation game. But I played, like, Mr. Domino and stuff and didn't have lag on there. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, let's see. It's it's one to one. Let's see if I can I can win it here. Get ready. Oh, I made him vomit. I punched a wolf in the stomach. Just gonna keep him away from me. No, stop it. Get out of there. Wolf no more, son. It's funny, but like I seem to do better when they're in beast form. Because I think in the in beast form you're a little bit slower. Wow, that was cool. And I just won. Kicked my own butt. So for long, did you hear my explanation about the uh about the internet? Fortunately there's not much I can do about it right now. But yeah, one thing that's interesting about this game though, so you know, my show is under the radar, so I generally try to stick to uh uh, 
games that are a little bit underknown. Uh, but one thing that's interesting about this game is it was actually re-released on the PlayStation Network here, so most modern audiences can go and play this right now. Son of a bitch. All right. See if I can... Oh, wow. He just wrecked me. Or she just wrecked me. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a girl. You can tell by the character model. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so, but... Even though this was released on the PlayStation Network, I think it still counts as under the radar. Because one thing I thought that was interesting, I looked up, I saw... When this came out, uh... It sold 390,000 copies. Sounds like a pretty fair bit, right? Its competitor, Tekken 3 sold 7.16 million copies so yeah just as a comparison of this game to tekken this game 390,000. tekken 3 was 7.16 million so i think that's that's enough to qualify it for being under the radar all right here we go you know shouldn't i have like a natural advantage against her simply because of like our beast forms I don't know, I guess it'd be too much to hope for, like, Pokemon-style weaknesses in the this game. Oh, walls. Although, honestly, a Bloody Roar beat-em-up would be kind of neat, where you did have, like, tight matchups. Although, I guess at that point, it would basically just be, uh, a modern version of, uh, what is it? Uh, oh gosh, what is the old arcade game? I completely blanked. Rise from your grave. I mean, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, gosh! She stopped on me! I thought I was safe! Man, I thought I had that one. And she was just like, nope! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to step up my game here. Altered Beast. Yeah, that's it. Why couldn't I think of that before? No, stop it! <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Shit, all her attacks hurt so much. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, I think I I think I've got this one if I can just keep up the pressure. Yeah shit! No! Stop it! Stop it! Please don't kill me! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 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 kick, 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 kick. Ah, all right. All right, here we go. You know, thinking about it, though, it's funny, but there's, like, a whole genre of games where you can transform into animals. But thinking about it, I can't really think of a recent game that has done that sort of concept. Like, I can't really think of a more modern game in which characters can transform into animals. I mean, like, there's a bunch of old-school games, like I said, Altered Beast... Or, I guess Animorph games even kind of count for that. Alright, I gotta go for broke! This is it! The final showdown! Ah! No! No! Yeah! Take that! <laughs> Jerk! Oh. Uh, but yeah, I can't really think of any modern games that let you turn into animals. I wonder why. I guess that was only like a popular concept in like the late 90s and early 2000s, I guess. And maybe uh, nobody cares about it for anymore. Versus Uriko! Oh, she must be the big boss. That the evil corporation is like, I don't know. Whoa. Okay. So is she like a human zoanthrope who can turn into a human? I don't. I don't know if that really makes sense. But all right. Yeah. So that's the Tyrion Corporation or whatever. You see that on the, the logo on the bottom? I guess they're the the evil corporation trying to control the zoanthropes. Whoa! Holy shit! What even is she? That's not an animal! Alright, I got this! I got this! No! No! Ah! <laughs> I really thought she was just gonna murder me. But what even the hell is that? That's like some Resident Evil shit right there. No! No, sir. No, sir. Or, ma'am. Apologies. Oh, gosh! I don't like that. Too much lightning on the screen for my taste. I generally like my screens with a small amount of lightning. Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, those attacks hurt a lot. No, oh, that's bad. I am super dead. <laughs> Shit. 
Alright, well I still have a chance to win this, let's see. Gosh, and she's like dripping bile and stuff. Oh, no, oh, it hurts. Jeez, and she can just like explode? Like what even is that? I'm assuming she's a playable character. You probably have to unlock her by like beating all the other characters, I guess. Oh no, 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 gosh. See, why can everybody else hit me on the ground, but I can't hit them on the ground? I'm clearly doing something wrong. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez. See, I would say, I'm curious what her deal is, though, but I don't know. I guess I need to look and see if I have her plot line. Because I saved most everybody's plot lines, uh, just in case the game doesn't give us endings or anything. I need to see what her deal is, because, like, holy shit. I guess she's, like, genetically engineered or something. But why does she turn from a little girl to, like, a not little girl into a whatever the hell that thing was? A nightmare. <laughs> now. Ah, balls. Nope. Shit. Dang, I didn't even get her into beast form that time. So this ain't looking good for Team Nikos. Yeah, basically. And very 90s anime, too. Well, 90s or early 2000s. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Nope. Nope, this ain't looking good. Guess what time it is? Wolf time! Oh, balls. <laughs> Shit. And her attacks have just such range, too. God, shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna win one round this time. And I have that attitude, I have to believe in myself! If this is an anime, the only way I can win is by believing in the heart of the cards! Truth, justice, and friendship! Ah, nope. Friendship. Friendship has failed me. I don't even know who my character's friends are, really. Alright, here we go. Alright, alright, got this. Got this. She's uh, like, I'm a creepy character. And now I'm a crazy character. No, sir. Why did I say sir when it's clearly not a sir? Oh. Eh, eh, eh. That's a good combo for damage. Oh, man. My problem is, like, I, I don't really know how to, like, parry or block or anything like that. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, that was, that was a good way to end this, because now I start in beast form, so hopefully I can keep the momentum going up. Ah, <laughs> Jesus. Ah, come on! <laughs> she could just like... I guess the whole deal is she's like a combination of a bunch of different animals. Although that face is like, what even is that face? Oh, shit. The problem too with these type of games is generally the way that you got better at playing them is by getting your butt kicked by your friends until you learn how to block and parry. So unfortunately, I don't really have that as a way to get better. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can really learn how to be defensive. All right, here we go. Wow. All right, off to a good start. Is she healing this whole time? Man, that is just not fair. All right, I want my beast form to be full. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ouch. All right. Oh, no, that's probably it. My only chance. Go, wolf. Blah. Oh, nope, it's over. Shit. All right, well, I had a pretty good run that time. I think eventually I'll learn how to kill her. She's just like, oh, I'm so cool. Oh. All right, here we go. Round three. Let's do this. I got this.
I'm hoping I can at least beat a couple characters tonight. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, how long I'm gonna play this. I don't know. We'll see. Get ready. Like, I'm gonna at least play this tonight, but I'm not sure if I'll play it next week, too. I might. I don't know. This game was fun. And I've been wanting to play a fighter for a while, too. Not just on the show, but in real life, so. Just kind of get my fighting fix in, so. Ow! She kicked me in the face. I'm still Yeah! Oh, hold on. Sorry. I've got an important call. Be back in a second.